in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Little children, have you any catch? John 21. He said, None. He said, Cast your net to the right side. He was not. They could not catch. Fish they could not find. There are times you need to move beyond. You can be a skilled fisherman there are times you can have the right tools your net still you will not catch fish at that point you don't need fishing you need the prophetic word from God Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Elohim, Ruach Elohim, fill this place. Salaba Shalakosiata. Ruach Elohim, Ruach Elohim, Ruach Elohim, Ruach Elohim. And all doors open, and all doors open immediately. All doors opened. Listen, in the next five minutes, I want you to give your destiny dedicated moments of serious prayer. We are going to take some time to pray, and that prayer you are going to engage with understanding. There are certain doors. It's time to rattle them to the foundation. The prophetic is coming your way. The release of favor is coming your way. But for God's sake, someone find a corner. Let your destiny know you mean business. And i like you to begin to invest in prayer for the next five minutes. Is someone pray? Sapra Katos Kata Brenda Galeco Satavas Someone is praying Shaleka Paracato Sapra Gata Belecosia Someone pray. Hallelujah. Play the strings for me. Hiya, hiya. Hey, 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 
In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to mention every door by name that needs and must be open in this conference. Financial doors, doors of fruitfulness, call it by name and declare the season has come that you must open lift your voice and begin to declare lift your voice doors of influence someone is praying doors of divine health doors to your next season someone pray someone pray pray Someone is praying. Be open. Be open. Be open. Hallelujah. Now, please, I want you to listen. I want you to listen. Please be very sensitive. Listen. You see, ladies and gentlemen, every time we gather like this, it's important for us to be able to discern the things that happen in an atmosphere like this. Number one, an atmosphere like this is an atmosphere for encounters an encounter is a supernatural activity that furnishes the reality of a truth a thought or a dimension to your spirit number two transformation transformation is a change of state something happens to your mind and now your mind is in a better position to partner with the holy spirit to birth and to produce possibilities in your life but number three every time we gather like this the holy spirit has covenanted based on his job description to the saints as revealed by jesus that every time the holy spirit shows up his assignment is to glorify jesus in all its ramifications we together and one of the ways that jesus christ is glorified especially his resurrection is the manifestation of great power in acts chapter 4 and verse 33 the bible says and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection you do not give witness of the resurrection just with discussions it says with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the lord jesus and great grace was upon them One of the major things that I believe has been ordained by God to happen in this conference is impartation. Let me explain to you for one minute what impartation is. Impartation is beyond falling down and standing up or lifting hands to shout Amen. 
those things are just byproducts of impartation the essence of impartation is a transference of spiritual possibilities from careers to those who need them and there are two ways listen carefully the anointing of the holy spirit is the principal agency that sponsors possibilities in this kingdom the assignment of faith is to transport you to the point where you connect to the power of god once you connect to the power of god the assignment of faith is over it is like a host are we together now from your farm to the top it is not the host that feeds your plant but not connecting it the assignment of faith is to connect you from the place of the problem to the place of god's power so no matter how long the distance that is how your faith must elongate to get you but once you connect to the power of god the very agency responsible for the possibilities is the power of god are we together now this is very important and there are two principal ways to access power in this kingdom number one is directly from god through encounters that a man can encounter the God of the Bible and among the many things that happen in that place of intimacy and encounter is a transmission of power from his majesty to you why because you are a spirit so at that point of spirit communication it is possible for spirit to spirit based on the law of deep calling on to deep you can receive a transmission of power the energizing of the spirit number two which is a more generic way is through impartation impartation from men and women who have been privileged by god to carry and host certain dimensions of spiritual possibilities he said i long to see you that i may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established hallelujah the Bible says he sent a word to Jacob. The effect of that word was that it lighted upon Israel. Listen to me. God hides his power in men. Not in oil. Not in bottles and handkerchiefs. Those things are only mediums. But the principal tool, the power of God, the presence of the Holy Spirit within men, God hides his possibilities in men. No wonder the psalmist said, What is man that thou art mindful of? Nor the son of man that thou visitest him. You have made him a little lower than Elohim. You have crowned him with glory. Set him above the works of your hand. And that in doing so, you did not leave anything that was not under his feet. Men are mysterious entities. They are not just bodies with hands, feet and eyes with the ability to speak men are storehouses of divine possibilities god hides his possibilities in men so when god wants to help you among the many ways he shows you mercy is to introduce a man oh widow of zarafath you will remain crying there until a man a mysterious man called um elijah are we together now shows up and shows you mercy shunammite woman you may have influence with everybody around Shunem, but if you cannot encounter Elisha, you will not have a baby. Abraham, it is true that the covenant is upon you, that the whole earth will be willed to you as the God of Abraham when you become the Abraham of God. But listen very carefully. If you do not meet Melchizedek, that prophecy remains barren. For he met this strange man called Melchizedek, the king of an ancient city called Salem. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abraham, possessor of the heavens and the earth. What kind of a blessing is that? Apostle Paul, you would be writing to thirds of the New Testament, I know. But you ignore Ananias and watch yourself remain blind. He said, Go to the, the street called Straight. And go to the house of one uh, Judah or so. And, and you will meet a man there. He's already praying and he has seen in a vision. And he came and said, Brother Saul, God, Jesus, whom you saw, has sent me to you. That I may open your eyes and that you might be filled with the Spirit. He can dare to say, I thank my God. I pray in tongues more than ye all. But it took a man that the Bible did not say much about again. 
I am victorious I have overcome I am victorious I have overcome I am victorious I have overcome I am victorious Listen, I think I've said it here the last time I came to this church. We're wrapping up. The Bible says, Thou anointest my head with oil. But the result of what is on my head was seen in my cup. He does not anoint the cup. If the cup is empty, do not blame the cup. The cup is a report card revealing what is on your head or otherwise. When God wants to remedy the condition of your cup, he looks for your head. It is not the cup. The cup is always a reflection of your head. It is not the job. No. It is not the business. It is not the limitation in progress. Those are physical expressions. They are symptoms. When you meet a consultant, a doctor as he consults for you, while you are mentioning symptoms, he has been trained to use symptoms as a pointer to tell you what is really wrong. I'm having headache, runny stomach, I'm shivering, my joints are paining me. And he's, he's using the symptoms, but he's helping him to arrive at something. And he will tell you, I'm not here to solve the problem of headache, joint pain. There is a central problem that when I solve, those symptoms will begin to disappear. The financial limitation, the disfavor, that people come into your life and the lifespan their relevance is two weeks and something takes them away it's not about the scenario of anger or pain or neglect it is that there is a bankruptcy of a kind of grace there is a grace that you have not received so your cock keeps reporting to you upgrade something upon your head thou anointest my head with oil my cup run it over Thou anointed my ministry, but it will not come on the ministry. It will come on your head, and then you will see the result. Apostle, where are my helpers? They are always there, but it, there, there is a sound that an anointing on your head is supposed to produce from the realm of the spirit. They were designed to respond to that sound, and because there is a bankruptcy of that anointing, that oil, it said, I have found David my servant, and with my holy oil have I anointed him. Give it to us. That should be Psalm 89 and verse 20. I have found David, he says, my servant, and with my holy oil have I anointed him reading to 24 verse 2 it says with whom my hand shall be established my arm also shall strengthen him it says the enemy by reason of that anointing shall not exact upon him nor the son of wickedness afflict him it says I will beat his foes before his face and plague them that hate him but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and in my name shall his horn be exalted I'm a product of many anointings many speakings your pastor is a product of many graces there are possibilities that you cannot produce by luck those results are a testament that there is there is a coordinated influence from the spirit that is controlling the outcome and the possibilities of your life please listen to me there are more than enough people in your city and in this place who can hold your hands and act as doors to transit you midwife your rising hallelujah listen very carefully there is a certain grace that if you do not have 
you may fall prey to the tragedy of the man we call Mephibosheth. You see, Mephibosheth was not a bad man. He only was unfortunate with the midwife who helped him. Midwives are those who act as doors and take us from where we are to where we need to be. And if your midwife has not been prepared by God, Mephibosheth, you can become crippled even though you will later find yourself in the palace, but he will not give you the agency work. Mephibosheth's tragedy was the product of the poor ministry of a midwife. I don't know the midwife who has been sent in this year of open doors. It is your responsibility to access the grace that straightens them. The ministry of a midwife is very delicate. You can lose your mobility for life because of the carelessness of a midwife. The name of the midwife that crippled Mephibosheth was not mentioned. But we know that a man who had a great destiny became crippled. I don't know what prayer Mephibosheth prayed. But one day, when the grace for favor was going to locate him, David said, is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake? And they brought a man called Ziba. And the Bible says he had 15 sons. And they sent him to a place called Lodeba to go and fetch this crippled man called Mephibosheth. Brought him to the palace. And the king said, Ziba, your children will farm for this man. But as for him, you will remain in the palace. What a pleasant manifestation of favor. Yet he never walked till he died. Listen to me. There are men and women who have been called by God. Joseph, you have the ability to interpret dreams. But if the wine presser is careless, he can add two years to your stay in the prison. The carelessness of one man, memory loss, do not announce you before your destiny helper. A man's stay was prolonged by two years because someone forgot. No wonder there is a mystery in the spirit called the book of remembrance. The Bible says that night could not a hazard or sleep. And he said, bring me the chronicles. And when they opened it, he saw that Mordecai had saved the life of the king, but he had not been rewarded. I don't know who there are people here you have been part of the rising of many God has used you to open the way for many but you have been forgotten tonight prophetically may God open the book of remembrance in the name of Jesus the son of the living God let the book of remembrance I say be open be open over you in the name of Jesus Christ for the sake of time let me speak over your life King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. Oh, speak from the throne and I'll hear from the earth. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. For my altar is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. My sacrifice is calling you, oh God. Take my praise, oh God. Take my praise. Let the fire from your altar touch my body. Let the fire from your altar touch my body. Let the fire from your altar touch my body. Let the fire from your altar touch my body.
for as many who are tired of certain realms you have told yourself it's time to go forward he said ye have compassed this mountain long enough huh? I'm standing in faith with the grace upon the man of God and I want to speak and declare the opening of certain doors I want you to believe it you will be surprised you will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen to you listen this you, that you see is an election of grace is the mercy of God but once he grants that grace it is for the profiting of the body there are people here I believe that God sent us in this conference and burdened his servant to make for this convergence because someone you have prayed and you have fasted you have said there has to be a way Lord let my life glorify you let something about the opening of doors even for Lazarus his grave was opened again it is never too late as far as the opening of doors is concerned the Bible says in one synoptic account that on that glorious morning an angel came from heaven and rolled away the stone and sat on it ready for his majesty to come out so in in declaring open doors it is also a declaration of resurrection because there are times that because of how long the door had been closed whatever was inside would have died he said after three days by now he stinketh there is no point opening the door the help you are looking for the time has gone it has died already when we declare open doors we also declare resurrection because even if you roll away the stone Lazarus is already dead there are times you need to roll away the stone and then make declarations and say Lazarus like he spoke to the 12 year old girl Talita Kumi little girl I say unto you arise can I pray for you I want to release a grace for speed this is the first grace that I sense in my spirit and we're going to do a quick walk just let me five minutes there are people here who must carry that grace bodily I told you that life and destiny is time dependent some of you the truth is that time has already gone against you and this is not negative confession time has gone against you I'm about to pray please those that the power of God comes upon I want you to bring them out very quickly let's make this fast so in about five minutes we're done it's an impartation of the grace for speed and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran the Bible says and overtook the chariots of Ahab even down to Israel I stretch my hand I'm seeing many people but particularly there is a gentleman that I'm seeing in my vision and this one has been an age long stagnation right now I'm just seeing fire coming on that person please when I pray whether you are an usher or not do well to help those under the anointing to come so that we'll make it very very fast father in the name of Jesus I release that grace right now receive that grace for speed receive that grace for speed receive that receive that grace for speed in the name of Jesus Christ there are many people but there is a gentleman that I'm seeing I, I just saw light and fire I saw the image of a gentleman that anointing is coming on a gentleman you need to move please bring them to the front very quickly in the name of Jesus I pray over that gentleman wherever you are by the power of God may that grace rest upon you I command speed upon your life speed upon your life help them speed upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ now hear me I'm seeing a vision right now and I just saw like a scroll pastor I just saw part of it one side of it just opened 
I told you about the book of remembrance. I have seen this in my visions. Ultimately, we believe it because it's written in scripture. I'm seeing the number four. There are people here right now. That grace is coming on you. And people who have forgotten you. Things you have done that may not even be remembered. I stretch my hands. I don't know who that grace needs to come upon. Receive that anointing right now. Let the book of remembrance be open. The fourth church. Let the book of remembrance be open. Let it be open right now. Let it be open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that grace be open. Let that, let that book be open. Please bring them quickly. Let's save time. In the name that is above all names. I'm seeing the hands of two people burning. And the Lord is telling me that your hand is a symbol of your productivity. And it looks like your hand has been tied. You know that's what happened to Samson? Way before his eyes were bound. The devil tried his hands before he tried his eyes. I don't know who that is, but God is about to lose your hands right now. In the name of Jesus, may that fire from the throne right now. Let it rest upon your hands. 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 Let it rest upon your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. In Ashena Soketa Sukra Gaveni Kusiata Labregeti Baratos Kadiatash. I'm doing an impartation, but I'm seeing that the Lord is touching someone's mother. This is someone's mother. I'm seeing the power of God come upon you. This is the power of witchcraft that has brought mama to a state of ill health i don't know who that person is but the lord is revealing to me that he is bringing life he's bringing healing to your mother i stretch my hands towards you right now may that anointing rest upon you let that anointing rest upon you let that anointing rest upon you in the name of jesus christ do you believe in the favor of god please do please do please do bring for me the lady right now i'm seeing a lady the power of god is coming upon her right now as i'm speaking i just mentioned favor and i just saw light just leave me and rest on a lady i'm going to pray for everybody but i just saw that grace because it's a new season a very strange manifestation of the spirit of favor is like a mantle a cloak from heaven that is going to rest upon you and you will start finding out that people you you may not even begin to describe the things that start happening to you please bring that is a lady one person and then i'll pray and speak over everyone in the name that is above all names may that grace that 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 engracing for favor let it rest upon you now i want to speak over everyone please bring them Ah, my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn I am anointed with fresh oil I am anointed with fresh oil in the name of Jesus Christ the grace that makes for favor compelling men I'm this one is really coming on many people the grace for favor that compels men and compels systems to respond to you favorably in the name of Jesus Christ receive that grace right now 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 right where you are receive that grace right now from today begin to walk in favor supernatural dimensions of favor I declare over you in the name of Jesus and hear me every force of witchcraft that has attempted to tie anyone's life down 
and commanded closed doors so that these doors would not open you have stand you, you you've stood in front of those doors and yet they have refused to open i speak to those doors now by the power of the prophetic every ancient door in the name of jesus a father be open a father be open i command that the doors parts heather and teether in the name of jesus christ financial doors be open now doors of fruitfulness be open now doors of new dimensions you're a man of god here new prophetic dimensions new apostolic dimensions i open those doors in the name of jesus hear me and for everything that has died or is dying in your life jesus said roll away the stone the opening of that door meant the possibility for resurrection therefore i declare everything that has died hear ye the word of the lord let it come back to life now dead dreams and visions come back to life now dead relationships come back to life now dead opportunities come back to life now hear me god is a restorer there are two systems of advantage that help the saints to manifest dominion over destiny and time number one is restoration number two is speed these are the forces that have been allocated to help men gain time when time is against you these are the forces that are released in the spirit the force of restoration and the force of speed i want to declare restoration because you see you can receive restoration of time and i will restore the years and you can restore things in the name of jesus christ everything that has left your life that should not have left i stand joining faith with the man of god the angel over this house i command between now and the end of march in the name of jesus let there be a sudden restoration sudden restoration sudden restoration hallelujah for all of you who are out here in the name that is above all names these engracings that you have received i prophesy upon you that they begin to speak immediately in the mighty and matchless name of jesus now listen let me lend my voice finally with the man of god and speak over the fourth church ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 and the elders of the Jews built it and the Bible says watch this it says they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo they built it but their prosperity dependent on the speakings of two prophets Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the prophet and the Bible says they built it and they finished it it's one thing to desire to start building it takes more than architectural prowess to build and finish the hand of Zerubbabel can begin but it takes another set of spiritual dynamics to have it completed and the Bible here says that when men build and prosper and finish is because while they are building there is the mysterious prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo I know that before this conference is ended the man of God will be speaking over your life but let me lend my voice as the second one by grace to make declarations over everyone but particularly the fourth church everything that is alive shows that is alive by growing therefore in the name of Jesus Christ the fourth church I stand by the prophetic and measure a thousand cubits and I declare rise to a new level rise to a new level rise to a new level in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare the bible says and it was noised abroad that jesus was in town the angels that herald the relevance of men wherever they are within abuja and across this nation i decree and declare that 
all those who have been apportioned to stand by the man of God financially and otherwise to see that the work progresses unhindered we compel them by the power of prophecy in the name of Jesus they appear in this season the Bible says and I will multiply them they will not be few that I will glorify them they will not be small I declare upon the church as a corporate people in the name of Jesus may the glory of God rest upon you may the glory of God rest upon you may the glory of God rest upon you the sound of mourning the sound of death may it not be heard among God's people in the name of Jesus he said remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old for behold I do a new thing I prophesy unto you be prepared for the new be prepared for the new even as by the Spirit of God let me speak over your finances you see what is happening economically around and it's important the prophetic is also connected to dimensions of prosperity it is true that when you believe the Lord your God you are established and that when you believe his prophets you prosper in the name of Jesus I call upon the God of Jeshurun the one who rides upon the wings of the wind and I declare by the mystery of divine supplies that raven that brought bread to Elijah even at Brook Cherith in the name of Jesus may God use men in the similitude of that raven to meet your needs in the name of Jesus Christ supplies from the north supplies from the south supplies from the east and the west and I pray for your work with God listen to me I pray for your sensitivity in this season connecting it to your prayer life your word life your consecration and your passion for the things of God I empower you by the spirit find stability in spiritual things no vacillation to the left nor the right in the name of Jesus may you be as solid as Mount Zion instant in season and out of season I prophesy to you according to Acts chapter 6 and verse 4 that you will give yourself continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord bless you may the Lord increase you for in Jesus mighty name we pray dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development lord grant me the discipline